Are you confused how to ship your products directly from your manufacturer to an Amazon fulfillment center? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down each individual step. We're going to dive into my seller account and I'm going to take you step by step on how to create a shipping plan. So stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevin Peterson. I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller and I just want to welcome everyone that is new to the channel. And what we do here is talk about how to grow and scale your Amazon FBA business to that six-figure mark like I did. So if you guys are looking to learn from a current Amazon FBA seller, then I would recommend subscribing so that you guys can stay up to date with the newest, latest, greatest strategies and tips when it comes to selling on Amazon. And just to kind of show you guys that I am currently an Amazon seller, I want to dive into my Amazon seller account so that you guys know that I'm in the trenches with you guys and that I'm facing the same exact problems that you guys are facing on a daily basis. So this is what I do full time and let's just dive into my seller account and as you guys can see I've done just over $781 for the day um, it's just two o'clock and twenty seven thousand dollars for the month okay so right here you can see super super low I ran out of stock and now I'm starting to see my normal results and hopefully I can get back to the thirty five forty five thousand dollars a month so that's what I am facing and struggling with today is I ran out of stock, but that is my current seller account. And as you guys can see, refreshing the page, and that is what I do full time. And Amazon FBA is my passion. So I would really appreciate it, guys, if you would go down and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys are enjoying the video and if you guys are learning something, then leave a thumbs up and leave a comment as well. So now let's dive into my screen where I'm going to share with you guys step by step on how to create a shipping plan. So we'll see you inside. All right, so here we are inside of Amazon Seller Center, as you guys can see, and I'm not going to have anything blurred out for your sake so that you guys can literally learn everything that you need to know when it comes to creating a shipping plan. So this is going to be step-by-step -step of how to get your product shipped from China to an Amazon Fulfillment Center or how to ship your products directly from your house to an Amazon Fulfillment Center, okay? So it's literally the same exact process. There's just two little changes along the entire process, but I'm going to break down both ways, okay? So the first thing, obviously, you need to sign into Seller Central. From there, you're going to go to Inventory. You hit Manage Inventory, and then this is going to show you the products that you have listed on the catalog. And if you have not added any products, that's going to be the first step. You need to go to Catalog. You need to hit Add Products. It's going to ask you for the basic information, the product pictures, listing, description, UPC code, the pricing, um, whether it's new or not. So you need to make sure you do that before you can ship your products from your manufacturer to, um, an, to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. So once you've done that, you're going to go and click on this little checkbox. Then you're going to click on action on one selected and a bunch of different options are going to come up. And one thing to note is right here, you can print your item labels. So this is an important step. You need to prepare your products before shipping it to Amazon. If not, they're going to charge you a ginormous fee. So each individual product needs to have Amazon item labels on the product so that Amazon can basically recognize um, what the product is, who it's coming from, and where they need to ship it to. So that is very important and you just need to print item labels and then you can send the PDF to your manufacturer and they'll put on the item labels for you, okay? So after that, once you have all the products prepared, you're going to hit send and replenish inventory. From here, it's going to ask you basically the FBA label service, um, whether you want Amazon to put on the labels or you decline it. And I would highly recommend to decline because you're going to have your manufacturer put on the labels for you. It's going to save you so much more time. And if Amazon does it, they charge like tons of money. I think it's like 30 cents per label. And most of the time, the manufacturers in China will do it for free. So uh, you want to decline the label service, then you're going to hit review selection. And then you're just basically agreeing that you have declined the label service. And then you hit confirm selection. And then from there, it's going to basically take you 
um, to whether you're having the manufacturer barcode or Amazon barcode. And for this case, um, since we're doing Amazon private label, we're going to use just the Amazon barcode. And that's basically pulling and going to use a unique barcode that is only used on Amazon, okay? So we're going to use Amazon barcode. Um, as I showed you, you guys can print item labels. That's what an Amazon barcode is. And then once you click on that, you're going to hit convert and send inventory. So this is basically com converting it to fulfilled by Amazon as well. So you hit confirm, convert and send. And then from there, you need to um, add dangerous good information. So there's no batteries. That's why I recommend not to sell any products with batteries. If you do, it's literally a nightmare. And then is this product consider, considered a dangerous good or hazardous material? Um, it's not. And if you are not sure, you're going to have to go through an entire, basically, survey interview, um, basically making sure that that product is safe. So make sure that you understand gated categories and restricted products so that you aren't trying to sell something um, that is dangerous as you guys can see right here. Okay, so both of this is no. Then you hit submit. And then you're going to hit save and continue. From there, it's going to ask you to enter in um, the information. So this is the one of the most important parts when it comes to shipping from China to an Amazon Fulfillment Center or from your house or business location to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. You're going to put the ship from address. So you're going to put an, the address of your manufacturer right here if you're shipping it from China to an Amazon Fulfillment Center or your business or house location right here if you're shipping it from your house or business. Okay, So that is the biggest difference when it comes to the two different options, whether you're basically drop shipping or shipping it from your house. You're going to hit add address and then you're just going to enter in um, the address and I'm just going to do test. Let's put this on pause and we will come right back. Alright, here we are back. I just had to put in the shipping address so I entered in a Chinese address right here. So if you are shipping from your house like I said then you're going to change this and you're going to be shipping from the United States instead of China and that's the biggest difference when it comes to shipping from either your manufacturer or shipping from your home or business location. So from there you're going to click on individual products then you're going to hit continue to shipping plan. From here you're going to enter in the number of units. So I'm going to be sending 200 units. You're going to enter in the dimensions of the packaging. So how big is the package? I'm going to say it's six by two by two inches and it weighs 0.25 pounds. So I'm going to hit save. And then from there, I'm going to hit continue. And then again, right here, who preps this, you're going to want to say merchant because you don't want Amazon to prep any of your products. You want to make sure that your manufacturer or you yourself, which I don't recommend, it's a lot easier if you just have your manufacturer put on um, the barcodes for you. As I showed you, you just go to print item labels, you get the PDF, and then you send them the PDF, and then they put on the barcodes for you, okay? It makes it a whole lot more simple, and it's a lot cheaper that way. So I'm going to hit continue. From there, um, again, this is giving you another option to print item labels for that product, and then you're just going to hit continue because um, your manufacturer already did that. And then it's going to show you where you're shipping to. So right here, it's shipping to Dallas, Texas, and the majority of the shipments coming from China ship to Dallas, but you're going to want to just double check that. And that's another thing that you're going to need to do is send your manufacturer the address um, that they're going to give to you. Okay, so then you're going to hit approve and continue. And then it's going to take you to uh, the prepare shipment and you're just going to go and hit work on shipment. So this is the last step. It's going to show you your shipping from, your shipping to, and then this is the address that you're going to copy and paste and send to your um, manufacturer so that they know where they're shipping the products to. Okay, if you're shipping from your house, it, you're not, you don't have to worry about it because right down here, you're going to select UPS or FedEx, and you're going to get your own um, shipping label. But since you're shipping from China. Your, either your freight forwarder or your manufacturer is dealing with the shipping 
And so that's why you don't have a selection of who's uh, shipping the product, okay? So that's the biggest difference. Those are the two biggest differences when it comes to shipping directly from your manufacturer to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. You need to communicate with your manufacturer. You need to get their address right here, so where you're shipping from, and then you need to give them where they need to ship the product to, okay? So once you're done with that, you're going to go right here and how will this shipment be packed? So if you're shipping like a thousand units, more than likely you're going to be shipping um, like 10 boxes or 100 units in each box. You're just going to need to communicate that with your manufacturer and know how many boxes you're shipping, whether it's one, whether it's two, three, five, six, ten, whatever the case is. Um, in my case, everything is in one box. So then I'm going to go down and then it's going to ask me for the box weight and box dimensions and just to kind of show you if there's multiple boxes it's going to ask you um, the units per box configuration so if it's the same size box it's the same number of units you're just going to put number of units and then number of boxes so if you have a thousand units and each box has a hundred you just put there's ten boxes so then that's a total quantity of a thousand but in my case it's just one box so I'm going to go back and I have the shipment quantity is 200 and the box weight will say is 30 pounds and you can enter in the box dimensions which is 12 by 12 and then you just hit confirm and then from there it's going to give you your print box labels and so this is one of an the second difference when it comes to either shipping from your manufacturer or shipping from your house, you're going to get your print box labels, okay? So this is a very important step. And if you were shipping it from your house, you would basically confirm and then it would calculate the shipping costs. And it would, instead of just giving you one label, it's going to give you an Amazon label plus a UPS shipping label so you can ship the products. And to show you what that looks like, once you hit print box labels and you confirmed everything, it's going to look something like this, okay? So here is what the FBA shipment looks like. So this is, if you're just shipping from China to an Amazon Fulfillment Center, this is the only label that you're going to get. But if you're shipping from um, your house or business location, you're going to get both of these labels. And basically, this label needs to go on the outside of the box, so it says, please leave this label uncovered. And what this does is this is going to help Amazon know where and who this box is coming from. They have thousands and hun hundreds of thousands of shipments coming in every single day, and they need to be able to scan it and know where it's coming from, okay? So that's what you need to communicate with your manufacturer, is you need to send them this PDF label, and say make sure to put this on the outside of the box um, along with the shipping label okay so both of these labels need to be on the outside of the box and again um, if you're shipping from China you're not going to have this label you're only going to have this particular label um, and then if you're shipping from your house you're going to put on both of these labels on the outside of the box so that is literally everything step by step on how to create a shipping plan and if you guys are still confused go down and join our free Facebook group and you guys can ask any questions on that and I'm active on that and I will get back to you and respond to your questions in regards to creating a shipping plan but it's very very simple you just need your manufacturer's address you need to know how many units are in each side of box what in each in each box so if they're shipping multiple boxes you need to know how many boxes um, the box weight and the dimensions and then you're going to get um, a shipping label and you need to send that shipping label to your manufacturer so that they put on the outside of the box okay so that's a very important step if they don't include and have this shipping label on the outside of the box then Amazon is not going to know where it's coming from and whose box it is and they're not going to accept it, okay? So that's one of the most important steps. Um, the two most important things is you need to have your product prepared, so with the item labels, and then you also need to make sure that you are using and sending them the Amazon shipping label so that they know who it's coming from, okay? So those are the two most important steps. 
Um, other than that, it's very straightforward, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and if you guys check out yesterday's uh, video, um, we're doing a $50 giveaway, and I'm starting to do $50 giveaways every single week. So if you guys want a chance to win, then subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. So I appreciate you guys. Um, for all of the support and thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.